Here's a weird secret for getting everything you want. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today on this uh, holy Saturday night is, uh, this is the day before Easter on this side of the world. And we are, uh, there's just something that came to mind. It's not a particularly uh, holy outlook <laughs> just right off the top. This isn't anything having to do with Easter. Maybe I'll get a little metaphysical on you tomorrow. But today I wanted to talk about how to get basically anything you want. Or at least the only way I've ever been able to get everything that I wanted out of life is a secret. And it's a paradox. But I haven't found a way around it. <laughs> And, and I'm going to tell you about it in a second. But first, I wanted to remind you about brianjpombo.com. It's a website where I have a lot of these videos. We're going to have more and more content available there, other programs available. Right now, we have a special program called the Amazon Proof Strategy Session. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out at brianjpombo.com slash Amazon. Now... Let's talk about getting everything you want. Now, I'm going to give you an example of something that has nothing to do with business, even though often, most of the time, we're talking business principles or life principles that can play back into business. And this is one of them. This is a life principle that whether you're in business or not, still pertains. But I found it helps out in business, but I'm going to use something that has nothing to do with business. I'm going to talk about my love life, okay? So this all, <laughs> this started... As, as early as you can imagine when when young men start looking at young women and start thinking hmm I wonder you know and <laughs> it was it was funny because my whole life up until a certain a certain point I was always I, w I think I was probably one of the youngest uh, men youngest kids that were was interested in the opposite sex totally was. I was interested very early on. I was very concerned about it. I was always trying new things of ways to get a girlfriend or get a girl interested or anything. And it nothing ever seemed to work. Now, I never thought that I was that horribly unattractive, although it's it's been clear to me over time that I have very little attraction with the opposite sex, and that's okay with me now, just so you know. But at the time, growing up, could not understand it, could not wrap my mind around it, caused a lot of grief, did not have much confidence in myself or anything else. So one thing leads to another, and you get depressed over time because nothing seems to work. Went really throughout high school without having a real serious girlfriend, you know, I had little situations here and there, but nothing serious and nothing where it ever really seemed to go anywhere. And I grew up in, in a relatively large family. You might, my immediate family wasn't that big. It was me and my, my two sisters, my parents. But beyond that, we had cousins and nephews and nieces eventually and, and everything else. And we always had a lot of family around. So I always knew that I wanted to get married. I wanted to have a bunch of kids. This is something I've always known. And so it was really irritating to go <laughs> to keep hitting my head against that wall over and over and over again. And it, it's one of those things where it's really, really tough when you don't know the way around that wall, that brick wall. You've got something you want and there's something blocking you and you can't tell what it is. All you know how to do is just keep ramming into it but it's painful, it's not very useful. And I heard a couple times people say that if you just quit trying, things will happen for you. If you just quit looking, if you quit being needy, everything happens for you. Now this is very true if you have any background in sales, this is completely true across the board. When It's when you quit being needy is when everything starts starts occurring. And sure enough, into my college years, and actually a few, few years past my college years, I just quit looking and I quit worrying about it and I just started designing my life, okay, everything else in my life, right? 
career, everything else. I just started looking for everything else that made me happy and quit trying to chase women because obviously I was chasing them away from me. And that's when my wife showed up. <laughs> she wasn't my wife at the time. In fact, there, there was nothing there was nothing that would have suggested that she would have treated me any differently than any other woman ever had. But one thing led to another and everything ended up working out right. And we ended up going out for a number of years before we got married. We got married, we've had kids, and we just live a great life. You know, we were married. So, you know, <laughs> everything that goes along with that, the back and forth and everything, you can't get around that. I don't, I don't think if you're going to have a long marriage, you're going to have to go through that at some point. But besides that, everything worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. But it's only when I quit wanting it so badly and just backed away from it and just let it happen. And this is a lot, a lot of the focus that I always take and why I always say at the end of every episode, let the magic happen. Because I think that so much of life is us trying to, is us trying to make something good happen instead of letting it happen. Most of the greatest things in your life will happen if you just back off and let them occur. Just let all the obstacles just fall away and let it happen. There's everything takes effort, but it doesn't take the type of effort that you think. <laughs> it it takes it takes effort. You're going to be mining for gold over here and it's going to it's going to pop up right behind you. And that's that's just a secret of life. I haven't found any way around all the greatest things I've ever gotten out of life have come that way. It's when I know I want something and I know I want it bad and I have a pretty good idea I'm probably gonna get it, but at the same time I can't figure out how to do it myself, it just happens. It just ends up happening and it falls in your lap. So hopefully that's helpful to you. We'll be back here again tomorrow, even on, on uh, Easter Sunday. So have a great Easter Sunday if you haven't already by the time you're watching this, and we'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.